Hi everyone, so I've just got my glossy box. I've literally just come home. I went to the hairdressers and got some more high lift tint in my hair. Yay! See, when you get it a bit light, I get like a bug for it. But I'm not losing you. I am not using bleach. I am using high lift tint. So yeah, the hairdresser did say did I want a little bit of high lift tint, a little bit of bleach in my hair, but uh. No, I thought, no, I'll be good. Anyway, so it's 10 o'clock. I've just got home. I saw that this was here for me, the glossy box. So this is the birthday edition. So we're back to the pink box. I haven't even looked at the products. I literally opened the lid, looked at the card. So you'll see my first impressions. So let's get on with it. So this is the only bit I've seen. So it says glossy box anniversary. Number one. On the back it says, happy anniversary. Celebrations are in order as it's our first birthday. However, it is you lucky ladies that will be the recipients of all the gifts. Please help us celebrate by blowing up the balloon in your box, <laughs> taking a photo of yourself with it and posting it on our Facebook page or tweeting it to us. It's just a bit of birthday fun, so please share your photos. We would love to see them. We have also included a special mirror as birthday present from us. Oh, I can always do with mirrors, um, but we'll have a look. But check out www.facebook.com glossybox.co.uk for information on how to win some fantastic prizes. Okay, so inside you have the list of products and this is all I've looked at. So I'll go through them with you as we open the box. So this is how the box came and opened. Oh, it's kind of like it's kind of like paper with bows and makeup on it. It's quite cute in a black ribbon. So let's open it up and see what we have. Yay. So it looks fuller than normal, which is nice to see. Ah, right, so here's the balloon. Oh, I'm going to break the mirror. Oh, glossy happy birthday, glossy box. You can't see that, but take my word for it. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, balloon, you know what a balloon is. <laughs> I don't need to show you. Then there is a glossy box mirror. Now these are handy. I lose all my compact mirrors, so it's great just to throw one in my bag. Let's have a look. I can't even open it. Sorry, it's late. I'm tired. Half asleep. Yay. So it's a double mirror. So, excuse me while I look at myself. So they've got the like, um, normal mirror there and the one that zooms in on you a bit which I don't like to look at because it's too close to everything I don't want to see everything closely anyway so let's look at the first item Noble Isle Summer Rising Bath and Shower Gel if you watch my videos probably know what I feel about these kind of things but hey ho so this is it it's actually quite a big size it is 75 mil quite a nice size. So, an immaculate fragrance evoking the beginnings of summer, Noble Isle is a new British bath and body brand inspired by the natural and cultural riches of British Isles. So, let's have a smell of this. Mmm. So that reminds me of Calvin Klein. That is, that is actually a really nice smell. You know, is it just Calvin Klein? Is that what's called? That unisex that was around years ago? Well, it's still around, but I was obsessed with it when I was a teenager. Mmm, that is a really, really nice smell. You might disagree, but that's what it reminds me of. Ah, so although I'm not really into these bath and shower gels, but, um, you know, it's something that I can whack in my bag when I travel, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. don't know if it's very womanly, but I love it. Mmm, give it to my boyfriend if I don't want to wear it, but that's a nice smell. So that's good. Then what have we had? Lolita Lempica, Uda and Blank, and C. Lotti, Lolita. Sorry, that's probably pronounced completely, completely wrong. Um, so discover Lolita Lempica's feminine world where Persian chic meets fantasy fairy tale to create the perfect fragrance. So this is full size, sixty-five pound for hundred ml. 63 pound, so that's for the Ur, so there's two. And then 63 pound for 100ml of C Lolita. 
Right, so we have two perfumes here. Now, mm, I hate getting perfumes as part of the five. You know, if they're a bonus, then great. Okay, they're giving us two, so it's better than one, I guess. But still, let's smell them. If I like the smell, I'll be happy. But generally, I hate the smell of all these freebies. Not freebies, but sample perfumes. So let's give this a smell. Hmm. Sorry, watch this one. Le en Blanc. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't like that. It's kind of like, first of all, it smells sweet, and now it's kind of like a musty, musky. No, we'll never wear that. Surprise, surprise. Whew. Right, the next one is C. Lolita. Cute little packaging. Oh my gosh, I didn't like that smell. Right, what's this smell like? Spray it on. Mm. No, not a fan. Sorry, I am useless at describing perfume, as you may well know. They're kind of like flowery ish, summery, but they're kind of deep and dark, musty, musky. No. Not a fan of those. I wish I could find one that I actually liked and then I wanted to go out and buy them. You know, that's the whole purpose, but don't like them. And then it says, Re receive a free Persian shopper with any Lolita Lempica purchase of 15 mil and above. I don't know if you can see that little shopper bag, but no, I won't be buying them to get that shopper bag. Although it's quite cute. Right, so next is Walida Face Cream Body Mail. Hmm. So it can be a face cream and you can use it on your body. So, duh. <laughs> anyway, so Walida, Walida products only contain natural ingredients grown biodynamic. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Sorry, I can't read. Biodynamically to help restore health and maintain well being. Full size is from £10.95. So, which one is this? So, comes in a little box. Walida Wild Rose. Hmm. I just don't like rose. I don't know if it'll smell of rose rose. Let's see. So we're just looking for directions of right. This is a five mil. Can't see any directions on it. I'll open it up and have a look. Ah, it's like Diddy. This is what it looks like. Let me just smell it. It's got the seal. Oh no. No, that smells of rose to me. Mm. See, I'm not a rose fan, so I really don't think I'll be putting this on my face or on my body. Mm. Don't like rose. We're not doing so good so far. Horrible smelling perfumes and horrible smelling cream or whatever this is. Um, I'm just looking at these instructions that come inside. In every language but English. Are you serious? What? I might just be stupid and tired but I can't see this any... There's no English. Anyway, I'm probably just missing it because I'm tired, but I can't see any English on here. So anyway, I don't like the smell of it, so I won't be using it. But as I said, that's a face cream and body milk. Um, next, Uni Uniquan All-in-One Hair Treatment. Ha, now this sounds like something I'd be interested in. It's here. And this is full size. It's 13.99 for 150ml. What have we got here? Nine mil. So, all in one hair treatment. The first leave on mask on the market that offers the 10 main benefits that the hair needs. The ideal partner for everyday use for the best stylists and their most demanding customers. That sounds good. Like, I love leave in hair treatments. Sounds perfect. What does it say on the back? Le oh my dear God. Why is nothing in English? Have I just got like a foreign box or something? 
Spain, da da da, no English, okay, what does it say on the front? All in one hair treatment, 10 real effects, repair for dry and damaged hair, perfect, dry damaged hair is what I have, so that is a good start. Shine and frizz, ah, here we go, I'm just being stupid, on the front, right, leave-in spray mask, 10 things that it offers, repair for dry and damaged hair, shine and frizz control, heat protection, silkiness and smoothness, hair colour protection, with UVA and UVB filters, easier brushing and ironing, incredible detangling, long lasting hairstyle, split ends prevention, adds body. That sounds like, ooh, don't want to throw it away, that sounds like a miracle product, so highly doubtful it will do all of that, but that does sound good, but you know, if it does, brilliant. Definitely give that a try. Like, I love hair treatments or, you know, any samples for hair, love it. So I'm happy with that. Yay! Oh no, I was saying there was a nice smelly stuff, but this did smell nice, so at least we have a nice smelly stuff. Uh, right, okay, then there's Let's Go Lashes. Let's Go Lashes, available in 40 styles, 100% human hair, incredibly easy to apply and reusable. Full size, $8.95 per strip. Now, I'm sure we've had lashes in other boxes before, but anyway, these are these. Lashes are lashes, at least I can always use them. Quite long ones. The crazy long. Let's go temptress strip lashes. Fabulously light, easy to apply, adhesive included. You know, I am quite useless. I do love the effects of eyelashes, but usually I can never be bothered to put them on, to be honest. But it's always good to have them. So they're the lashes. Though, you know, not offensive, good to have, you know, but I could do without. But you never know, they might come in. Handy one time. So yeah, considering it was a birthday box, I thought that it would be more interesting than this. But the two standout products to me, even though I'm not a um, bath and shower gel kind of person, what well, obviously I use them, but I don't like them to be part of my glossy boxes. <laughs> um, but I do love the smell of this and I will be taking it away with me and this hair product. So there's two that I really like and I will make use of this little bonus mirror. So that's kind of a cute touch, I guess. Um, but yeah, otherwise I wouldn't say, wow, you know, we've had like two or three really, really good bo boxes the last few times. Um, so I thought this would be another good one, but it's okay. You know, I'll keep keep my subscription purely because there's no other boxes. I don't even know. Like, Feel Unique, I saw on their Facebook page the other day that they said that they were going to announce their um, their new box or something like that. And I haven't checked back to see. Although they did say they were going to send an email and I haven't had one yet. But that would be quite exciting if they're doing something. So, yeah, for now, I'm only really subscribed to Glossy Box. There's no other one that really interests me. I know there's a, quite a few new ones coming on the market, but... Because they're all hit and miss, I might as well just stick with one. Because this is good sometimes, sometimes it's not. You know, I accept that. So we're okay this month. Anyway, I hope you liked that review. I wanted to just get it up as soon as I got the box because I know some people are interested in these things. I am. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye. See you next time.